Hi, I'm Tom Shampoo with Unico Group, Inc. in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, I am a certified work comp advisor and, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a big change that's, uh, that's coming from NCCI, the National Council on Compensation Insurance, concerning a thing called the split point. And uh, so I'm going to show you how that works today, show you a little bit about how the experience mod works and how it is calculated, and show you how that change is going to impact you. I will tell you that, uh, that return to work programs and early reporting of injuries, all those things are going to become much more important moving forward. Uh, another thing that's going to be much more important moving forward too is for you to have a relationship uh, with a medical provider or two or three um, that will see your people quickly after they've been injured and will get back to you within 24 hours on what that person can do after they've been injured. Uh, it's going to be vitally important moving forward with this change coming down the pipe that will start in 2013, by the way, on your renewal date. And I'm going to show you exactly today how that works. So this is, you see here, this is an experience mod formula. I'm sure you've all seen those before. This happens to be the three years that this particular insured is living with. And as everybody knows, this number on the bottom right is the experience mod number for this particular insured. And they are at a 1.40. That's not good. 1.00 is average. Uh, but I'm going to show you um, how this all works and this whole split point change. This is the actual rating formula. It's just simple algebra. Right down here at the bottom, this box at the bottom is, uh, is the rating formula. Everything else that you see above here are just numbers that flow into the formula. And that's where the change is, is coming on how this, this works. And, uh, and here's the change that's happening. The reason you see $5,000 in this column so many times when it comes to the losses that this insured has had is right now the first $5,000 flows into a box called the rateable primary, which is this box right here, $23,654. That $5,000 is going to $10,000 starting in 2013. It is going to $13,500 in 2014, and it will be a minimum of $15,000 in 2015. Now, what does that all mean? Well, like I said, the first $5,000 right now flows into the thing called the rateable primary. After that, the, the, this number right here, the weighted value with W value, which is 0 .10, starts to take effect. So if you have a $10,000 claim, $5,000 is going to flow into here, and then ten, the other $5,000 is going to flow into this box called the rateable excess, but it's going to be taken times this weighted value or W value. This, because of this number, this particular insured is getting a 90% discount, so to speak, on what's flowing into the rateable excess. So as that number goes from $5,000 to $10,000, it is going, you're going to have another $5,000 that impacts this formula before you get the benefit of this weighted value, the W value number right here. So that's a big deal. And that will become 13.5, and it will become 15, and then NCCI is going to manage it uh, each and every year thereafter. So it's a, so it's a big deal. It's going to um, be extremely important moving forward to have return to work programs and to take advantage of, um, of what's going to happen here because I can tell you what's going to happen is that first of all this D ratio or discount ratio which simply simply tells the formula where to split expected losses from primary to excess and that is going to raise the number of expected losses that you're going to have in the formula. So if you keep performing the way that you are or you improve your performance you're going to have a bigger denominator number moving forward and the same or better uh, smaller number in the numerator which is going to actually improve your experience mod number. So this is going to be, could be a good thing for some people, especially those that manage it well, this is going to be a benefit to them or could be a benefit to them. It is going to severely punish those that don't have return to work, that aren't managing this formula well. It is going to be a big deal and it's going to uh, significantly uh, hurt them. So. I'm um, going to give you a little example here uh, of how this would work, or how this will work. Um, we have a claim here of $6,802. It is IJ5 coded. I'm going to explain that in just a moment here. <clears throat> but $6,802, right now, $5,000 is going into the rateable primary. And the next $1,802, which is the balance, is taken times the weighted value, the W value, and then put into here. So that's how the formula currently works. 
Next year, in 2013, all of this $6,802 would flow into the rainbow primary. So that's the difference there. there, there is, they're not getting the benefit of the weighted value until the number gets bigger. The reason for that is because of medical inflation. And the reason that NCCI is making this change is because of medical infl inflation keeps going up. Uh, and so this change is, is to um, uh, accommodate those um, medical expense increases. Another big thing I want to show you on here that's of uh, vital importance, if you are in an ERA state, ERA stands for Experience Rating Adjustment. There are 33 ERA states uh, in the country. Uh, that is where this comes into play. You'll, you'll read here, it says rating reflects a decrease of 70% medical only, primary and excess loss dollars where ERA is applied. <clears throat> column number eight, this IJ column, anywhere you see a six in that column, that is a medical only claim. It includes no indemnity. In other words, medical only, medical bills only were paid on that loss, and that number, those corresponding numbers, anywhere you see a six, is reduced by 70%, or only 30% of those figures is flowing into the formula. <clears throat> so that's a, a big deal. Keeping claims medical only moving forward is going to be a much, much bigger deal than ever before. Um, the 70% reduction is a monster, monstrous difference, and uh, it, it's going to be even more important uh, moving forward, which is the reason for return to work. It's the reason to have a medical relationship with someone you can send the injured people to if they don't choose to use their own doctor if they can in the state that you're in. We're in Nebraska. A person who chooses to use their regularly treating doctor can do that. About 70% don't, and we can send them wherever um, you would have a medical relationship with so those people can be seen quickly and that medical provider gets back to you on what that person can do so you can get them back to work as quickly as possible. But that's, that's a little overview of the big change uh, coming down the pipe on the split point. Uh, we do go into the formula uh, a lot more in, in other sessions and, and we'll explain that in more detail. But today we're just talking mostly about the split point and the medical only status for IJ6 coded or medical only claims. And, um, and then we're going to show you some additional numbers here, Carl, if you'd uh, uh, hit the button there. This is the IJ6 thing, the ERA, the Experience Rating Adjustment. This is an example of that. What we've done here is taken a $2,000 medical only claim. $2,000 in medical bills was the only thing paid. There haven't been any lost wages, no permanency ratings, uh, no occupational therapy, you know, that type of thing. $2,000 in medical bills, that number is reduced by 70%. It's IJ6 coded or medical only. So what this is telling us is only $600 of that loss arrives in the rateable primary or in, in the experience rating formula. What we did was, uh, and by the way, that the three-year premium cost, everybody knows that you live with a claim for three years. Um, the the three-year additional cost for having that one claim in this particular insurance history is $1,800 additional dollars. The insurance company paid $2,000. The insurance is going to pay an additional $1,800. We then took that claim and added $100 of lost wages onto that claim. And we see claims like this. This, this happens. This is not as infrequent as you might think. So we had $2,000 of medical bills, $100 of lost wages. Now we lose the medical-only status. It is coded something other than IJ6, probably IJ5 or IJ4, which includes indemnity, um, which is the lost wages in this particular case. And the three-year premium cost now, because of that hundred bucks on lost wages, jumps to six thousand six hundred dollars, for a difference of four thousand eight hundred bucks. Um, these numbers are staggering; they're kind of amazing. But that hundred dollars, if you believe in a penny saved is a penny earned, <clears throat> the hundred dollars that you paid in payroll to keep that claim medical only turned into four thousand eight hundred dollars in savings over the three years uh, that this particular insurer lives with that claim. Pretty good investment. And it's the reason we coach return to work. It's the reason we coach early reporting of injuries. Uh, it's the reason we coach our insureds to have a medical provider that they trust, that they can send people to, that can be seen quickly, uh, that type of thing. Um, Carl, you want to go ahead and switch this to the uh, uh, new NCCA split point change? This is what I went over with you earlier. Uh, just a little slide here. Uh, that you can keep to show you what the changes are going to look like moving forward. Currently, like I said before, the split point is at $5,000. Uh, 
It is going in 2013 to $10,000, then to 13.5 in 2014, and in 2015, um, expected to be at least 15,000, but it's going to be um, based on, on some benchmarking and that type of thing. So it's 2015 at this point in time is, is a little bit unknown, it, it appears. Lastly, um, what we wanted to show you is a slide on medical inflation. This is the reason that NCCI is making a split point change. Um, medical inflation is running 8, 9, 10% a year. And so the formula is antiquated enough at this point in time with a $5,000 split point that something had to be done to reflect a more accurate experience mod number for people. And so that, this is the reason for the split point change. As you can see, uh, medical inflation starting in January of 1988 to uh, fully uh, January of 2011 has increased dramatically over that, uh, over that time from 2500 bucks. Uh, to about 9,000 for the same claim treated in 1988. So um, some pretty big increases in medical inflation and, and that is the, the primary reason for the split point change um, is to hedge against this and, and to keep up with the medical inflation when it comes to the experience mod. So that's a little bit on the split point change. I hope that made sense to you. If not, please feel free to call us. Uh, we deal with this stuff every day. We enjoy it. We, we, we like it. We like helping our clients manage their experience mod. And that's where most people uh, make their mistakes is they don't manage the experience mod. We help our insureds manage that. And if you want more information, please contact us. Uh, you can go to our website at, at unicogroup.com if you'd like, or you can contact us at 800-755-0048 or locally here in, in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, 402 four three four seven two zero zero and we'll be more than happy to explain this in more detail and we would even be more than happy to come out and uh, give you a live demonstration right at your your place of employment thank you that's all for today